Hey guys, it's Danielle Cormier and welcome back to my channel. I mean really it's say me, it's old me. You know so if you haven't already, go ahead, hit the subscribe button down below. And yeah, you can turn on that little bing bell notification and you can get a notification every time I upload a new video. So jumping into today's video, I know this is my second video on YouTube and today we are just going to do a quick, simple and easy brow tutorial. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So today I'm going to be teaching you three simple ways to do your eyebrows and it's not really different ways to do your eyebrow, it's just going to be using different products. So basically I have nothing on my face today. Um, I just washed my face, moisturized my face and I kind of cleaned up my eyebrows just a little bit. So the basic tools that you need to do your eyebrows are super simple, super cheap, and super affordable. Now you can go ahead and today for our first product, I'm just going to be using a simple spoolie. This is a spoolie, this is what it looks like, and this is just a spoolie from Sephora that I got for about two I years. I will be going in now with my MAC Spiked eyebrow crayon and show you how to do your brows. So now what I like to do is basically I take a mirror of any size anywhere you want to find. You can use your bathroom mirror but you kind of want to get a little up close and personal. So I'll be taking my um, Pure Cosmetics eyeshadow palette and I'm just going to use the mirror in there. So first what you want to do is just comb your brows out and I like to comb in the same direction that my brows hair grows and I like to comb up first because I'm going to start at the bottom. So I'm going to comb all my brow hairs up and get them in a nice shape. Okay, now I'm going to go and take my eyebrow pencil crayon and you basically just really want to get in your, I don't know if you wax your brows or if you pluck your brows or even if you get your eyebrows threaded. This, there's always a little light line under your brow from where your hairs were previously growing and that is basically going to be our little pathway to help outline our brows. So I'm just going to follow this line. Now I don't want to start all the way over because I want a natural brow. So I'm going to start a little in the middle and I'm just going to draw a line using my crayon and it's very light as you can tell I'm not putting a lot of color on there because I don't want my eyebrows to be too dramatic and I'm just gonna go in very lightly in nice small strokes and go all the way around and really just get that shape of my eyebrow from the bottom and draw that out I'm going to draw that out right until my hair stop. So right where my hair stops, I'm just going to do a nice little clean line like so. And then now is where I'm going to fill them in. So I like to start filling them in from here. I don't like to hit this area of my brow yet, and I'll show you why in just a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and fill my brows in. Now I'm just using small strokes because I don't want my hair too dark like I said and I want more of a natural brow look when I'm using an eyebrow crayon because it's not as dramatic and it, if you want that nice soft look for your brows this is the way to go. So now that I've done that I'm going to take my spoolie. I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to brush those hairs up and really blend out those strokes from the eyebrow pencil crayon. Now as you can see when I do that it really starts bringing in that color all the way out through the rest of my brows. And I'm going to go ahead and comb it out. So now that that is done, I'm going to take these little hairs that tend to always stick straight up and I just want to comb those right up. Now when I do that I'm going to comb the rest of my brows down. So I'm combing them down because now I want to get the shape of the top of my eyebrow because you can't just have a bottom eyebrow shape. I mean, come on, it's just going to look crazy. So I'll go ahead and comb those hairs down in a downward motion. And then I'm going to go right back in with my eyebrow crayon. And I'm just going to do the same thing that we did on the bottom. I'm going to follow the line, that natural line from my eyebrows from where I've got them waxed. And I'm just going to carve out 
my shape of the top of my eyebrow. And I'm right into that point. And that's how you get that nice sharp point in your eyebrow. So now that that's done, I'm going to take my spoolie again. And I'm just going to comb my hairs back up in the proper direction of the natural way that my hairs are flowing. And I'm just going to kind of comb that all together like so. And that is our eyebrow. Now for this, with the eyebrow pencil, like I said, we're just going for a nice subtle natural look. And now that we have that, now I'm going to take those inner baby hairs, those little baby, little eyebrow baby hairs, and I'm going to comb those right back up, like so. And then I'm going to go right back in there with my eyebrow pencil. So now I'm going to create that nice effect, and I'm just going to make soft, very soft. eyebrow strokes upward in the same direction as those hairs. Okay, you see how soft and subtle that looks? Now I'm just going to take my spoolie one more time and I'm just going to comb that out just to blend out that color. Yes, uh, perfect. Okay, and now that this eyebrow is done, what I typically like to do is go in with an eyebrow setting gel. Now, a lot of people, this is my favorite one, like I said in my last video, the NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. This gel will never let you down, I promise you. So now I'm just going to go in and there's no color. This is a clear eyebrow gel, and I'm just going to take this eyebrow gel and I'm going to set my brow. Now, I always like to start in the same direction that we started in the beginning. I'm just going to take those hairs and that natural flow, and I'm going to get that gel right on those bad boys, and I'm just going to comb in that same direction all the way down and then I like to use the tip of the brush to get those little baby hairs like so. Ooh, yes, look at that, they already look better. They already look better. And then I like to go back in a little, a little one more time and now I'm gonna get those front ones and I like to use the tip of the brush like so and just really get those hairs to stick up so that that looks more natural, just like this. And go back in this direction, kind of really clean that up. Wipe a little bit of that off. And there you go. Okay, so now that this eyebrow is done and I've done this eyebrow with the pencil, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in the color Pomade. And it's a medium brown, and I'm going to show you guys how to do this eyebrow. Yes. I love the Anastasia Beverly Hills, but I'm going to let you know right now, sometimes this does tend to dry out just a little bit. As you can tell, I've had this forever. And I just, I'm going to let you know with this, a little goes a long way. Now, for this, I'm going to be using... Um, my hard angled definer brush and this is by Benefit. Now I like this brush because this brush typically tends to be a little harder, much denser, and it's easier to work with this specific brand of eyebrow, um, like Joe. So, and <clears throat> I'm going to use that same spoolie that I used before and I'm just going to brush my eyebrow hairs. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my brush, I'm going to dip it in there, dip it in there just a little bit on the side, just a little bit on this side, and just a tad bit on the tip. And then I like to take the back of my cap and I really like to just make sure that my brush has a nice even coat. And this is how you can tell that your brush is nice and evenly coated. Look at that. It's all the bristles are together on both sides and at the top. There's no um, uneven product on your brush. Now I'm just going to go in in this brow. And I'm going to basically start the same way that I started the last brow. And I'm just going to follow that natural line under my brow to carve out the bottom of my brow. And start at the bottom, like I said, I don't like to start all the way over here. I'm going to start right about here. That way I still got that nice natural look at the top of my brows, but I really want these brows to be a little bit more defined. 
so. So this is my bottom of my brow. Came around, left this area open, and now I'm just gonna fill the top of it in. Okay, and now that that's done, I'm gonna go back in with my spoolie and I'm just gonna blend that out. And combing in the same direction as my hairs. Now I just wanna bring those hairs down and we're gonna go ahead and do the top of the brow. Now I'm just gonna dip right back into my Anastasia Baby Lee Heels eyebrow. And now I'm gonna go right back at the top. We're gonna to start here. And we're just going to carve it out. As I bring it down, I'm just going to go ahead and fill it in. Okay. And I'm going to go back in with my brush. Like I said, a little bit. Look at that. Look how much darker this brow is than this brow. And this is just because this eyebrow gel is just a, a little heavier, a little thicker. Mm -hmm. Brush that up back in the proper direction. Now we're going to go back in with a little bit more product uh -huh. and we're going to do the same thing that we did on the other eyebrow over here and we're just going to create those nice natural looking lines but with the dip. And I like to hold my um, brush in the downward motion and stroke up. Okay. And then I'm going to take that spoolie and I'm just going to blend that out in an upward direction. Boom. All right, so now with these brows, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna carve this eyebrow out using a little bit of the concealer. Today, the brush that I'm gonna be using is the concealer brush by e.l.f. and you just want a nice, small um, concealer brush. That way, it's not as long and you can really get under your eyes without getting your concealer everywhere. I'm gonna go in with this brand, it's from um, Milan, Milani, Milano, Milan, Italy, and Kiko, Kiko, I'm not sure how to pronounce the name of it, but it's a really popular makeup brand here in Italy, and you can find it in almost every store, and I'm going to go in with the color number 05, and it's a full coverage concealer, and I'm just going to dip my, eye, my concealer brush on both sides, like so. And then I'm just going to get right up under my eyebrow and I'm going to arch that out to clean up that eyebrow. So I don't like to take it all the way over. Like I said, I like to leave those hairs in a more natural look. So I'm just going to start where I started when I first started outlining. And I'm just going to bring that concealer all the way to the top of my eyebrow. And I'm just going to carve it out. And now I'm just going to blend that out. And that's how you get that nice, sharp angle. This eyebrow, we're going to go in with the Tinted Brow Gel by Anastasia Beverly Hills, since we're using their products today. And we're going to go in with the Color Tint Expresso. And I'm going to set my brows just like I set this brows in the same direction. Now because this is tinted, I don't like to go in a second time. And I'm just going to use what's left on my brush to stroke the beginning of my eyebrows. So that way they look more natural, but they're still a lot sharper. We have this eyebrow done, my left eyebrow with the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, dip pomade. It is definitely one of my favorites to use. It's amazing, it's phenomenal, and I just love that nice, sharp, defined eyebrow look. And then over here we have the MAC crayon pencil. So I'm just going to go in with a makeup wipe. We're going to leave the Anastasia 
Beverly Hills eyebrow just the way that it is. And now I'm going to teach you guys how to go in with a more gel consistency um, eyebrow. We have this eyebrow clean. I'm going to go ahead and brush those brows up. Brush them up, brush them up. Brush them up, brush them up. Okay. And for this brow, I'm going to be using my e.l.f. Duo brush. This brush comes with an angled brush as well as a spoolie. And um, I really, I like this brush a lot. And I like this brush more with the Makeup Forever um, Aqua Brow. Basically because this is a softer bristle. This bristle is a little softer than the other brush that I had. And uh, since this consistency is more liquid, it's really going to hold those bristles together in the brush. So, now I'm going to take this, and I'm just going to put a little bit on my hand. Just a little bit. You do not need a lot. Like a little tiny drop. Just a little drop right here. This is For this, this is what we're going to do. We're going to take that little bit that we have, and we're going to dip our brow in there like so. And we're just going to like, it's kind of like a paint. We're painting with this. Today we are painting with this brow. And we're just really going to get a nice even coat like we did with the Anastasia Beverly Hills. But because this is such a darker color and this is a different consistency, you really want an even coat. And so we just kind of, I just kind of paint it out. I paint it out on the palm. We dip it, make sure it got that nice dip like so on the tip. I'm going to make sure my brush is evenly coated. And yeah. So now we're going to go in. And I'm just going to, I'm going to talk as I go. I'm going to do this. I'm going to brush my brow hairs up. And I'm just going to start at that nice, defined, natural um, line under your eye. And we're going to start in the same position as the last two brows. Not too close in, not too close out. Just right there in the beginning. And we're going to start carving this brow out. And this one, it goes, this, this gel goes so much faster when doing the brows. It's not because I'm a pro at this. I'm not going to let you know. I'm just going to let you know because it's so smooth. It's so, has that more liquidy consistency that you're just really, you're going to be able to do your brows faster with this. So now that we have that bottom line, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start filling it in. So I'm going to brush that out. And now I'm going to brush my hairs down. And we're going to go back in and we're going to paint. We're painting. We're painting. I told you this dries so fast. So we're painting. We're painting fast. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do the top. And we're filling it in. Now this is gonna be a dramatic brow. So we're gonna take what's left on our hand. Now we're gonna do those little hairs in the front. Brush those up. We're going to stroke. So now that we have that brow done, it's been brushed out. As you can see, it's a lot deeper. This brow is a lot deeper than the other brows. This is the Anastasia brow. And this is the Makeup Forever brow. And what we're going to do is we're going to hit and we're going to carve this out. Go in and we're going to go in with the Radiant NARS um, Creamy Concealer in the color Ginger. The same concealer brush that we used before. I just cleaned it off. And we're going to paint again. We're painting on the back of my hand. Is what I like to call it. It's painting, and we're gonna go in, and we're gonna carve the top and the the top and the bottom out.
And here we have our brow with the Makeup Forever gel, gel Aqua Brow. And now this brow I like to do if I'm going to do my brows first and then my makeup and my foundation. And this is just a, this is just a much sharper, cleaner brow, as you can tell sharper more defined okay so now you have the makeup forever brow you have the anastasia beverly hills brow this is all that i have for you today i'm not going to be doing any makeup but i just really want to show you guys how i do my brows because i use three different different techniques again three different techniques if you don't like one you have three options to choose from and they're so easy thank you for watching thank you for your support i just want to thank all of you guys um who are actually coming and um taking the time out to watch my video and i'm being a cry baby right now <laughs> sorry but um yeah i'm just really happy because like this is something that i've been wanting to pursue for a while and my husband can tell you that um <laughs> Yeah, I've been I've been obsessed. I've been, this is my obsession. So I just want to thank all my friends and family who have taken the time to message me or ask for a request and really just took their time out to support me and watch my first video. And I hope that you continue to watch me and I hope that um, you're not afraid to just critique me because everybody needs that critique. We're all human. And just let me know what you want to see. Let me know what you want to do. I'm really down for makeup tutorials. I want to do a few baking videos and of course maybe some family videos as well. But thanks guys. Like thank you. I love you guys. You guys are great. And don't forget to subscribe and love you guys. I'm out. Mwah.